Hi, my name is Kyle Pollock, a soccer coach from Wilmington, North Carolina. Today I'm going to demonstrate some defending techniques. For this clip, you will need soccer ball, soccer cleats, and soccer field. Some of the basic ones is always be about an arm's length away from your offensive player, keep your feet nice and balanced, and always on your toes and keep your knees kind of bent. So what's going to happen is first, Chris is going to dribble at me, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to force him one way. Go ahead. Good. Face him, take him away from the goal at all times. And also, your front foot kind of leads what's happening. So if you're here, going, going this way, this way, good. So what you're doing is, you got to make sure you're always on your toes at all times. So what happens is, you don't want to be, you don't want your feet nice and square. Don't have them too close or too far. You're going to lose your balance. So about shoulder width apart. So go ahead. So you're forcing them this way, forcing them this way, here, here. So you're doing is you want you always want your your front foot to lead the direction. So if you want to go to your left, have your right foot in front. If you want to go to the right, you have your left foot in front. Always keeping your knees nice and bent, knowing exactly where he is at all. So now what he's gonna do? Now if he's in front of you, stay there. So now if he's in front, it's about an arm's length away, and always stay low to the ground so you can see the ball. You don't want to be too close so he can just spin you without even knowing. So what you want to do is just be a nice arm length away from him, staying low to the ground so you can see the ball at all times. So if he's moving, so you know exactly what he's doing. Here, arm length away. Perfect. Very good. So those are some basic defending techniques.